That's one out of ten. Oh, Tufty! <laughs> okay. Well, we heard it, I think. So we need to keep grabbing. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so let's oh, whoa, 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 Burn the demon, burn the demon. I'm out of purple. I'm out of purple. I'm out of purple juice. <laughs> I need my purple juice. Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I am your host, Cornish. Today, we're going to be talking about a game called Devour. Now, before I say anything, I'm glad there's more co-op horror games because hopefully companies can expand and learn a lot more of how, how good of a fry it is to play these types of games. So, let's start off with the game. Devour is a co-op horror survival game for one to four players. You, as a cult member, have to try and stop the possessed cult leader from killing you and your friends. If you're playing alone or friends, it's, it's a good laugh. By stopping her from being possessed, you need to sacrifice 10 goats. Not only you would have to watch out for the possessed cult leader, you'd also have to watch out for the other demons that appear. Now there's really not much to talk about in this game because it's not a long game, but it's an enjoyable game. So these developers are good at right in the head because uh, they have actually been working on a new map, which is a new mission as well. Uh, supposedly after the incident for the first mission, it takes place five years after, which is pretty cool. So they're going to be working on this constantly, which is great. And it's only two developers uh, on the name of Joe and Luke. So let's talk about how the game works. Uh, you basically have to go into the house first to explore. You'll see items such as hay, petrol, a goat, or even med packs. Now let's get to the med packs in a minute. Let's talk about the woman herself. She's got me! Fuck, fuck for that. No, no, no. Oh, Tufty! Why did you take her in here, AJ? Stop people chasing her. <laughs> Once you light that first sacrifice with the goat, uh, you end up getting automatically chased by the woman herself. Uh, you are only armed with a flashlight, and the flashlight can do some good stuff. You can turn it into UV to aim at her to prevent her from running at you, so she can be stunned for about, I'd say, five seconds for you to get out of there and run. Or her little minions that come out the ground, they're all crawling around, and you can take them out. But the more sacrifice goats you get, the more faster and the more crazier she gets, let alone more of the de mini demons that are happening around on the house. For a personal experience, I had two of my friends play and... Ah, <laughs> uh, we had a bit of a laugh. Where did she go? <laughs> I don't know! AJ, hold me! No! <laughs> right, close that door. Uh, oh, shit! What? Yeah! Where did she go? I'm by the ritual on my own. Yeah, Help. well... <laughs> <laughs> there are some pretty cool jump scares if you do get caught. Um, one I was not expecting. There are also notes around the game to see what happened when she, before she got possessed. And all the little stories you need to know. And if you need to get into any other rooms, you've got to find keys around the house. I would recommend to start the key first before you sacrifice your first goat. So there are 10 goats to sacrifice if you're going to try and break the curse or the possession. Uh, we only got to eight. So let's talk about the bad side. Unfortunately, it said run and hide. Well, hiding doesn't really work on that game. Uh, even if you've got the doors closed, she will come through them doors with her lanky arms and her lanky legs and give you a nice lovely scare. However, there is good side to the game. Uh, if you do get taken out and your friends are still walking around, you, they can easily find a med pack and go to you and pick you back up. Um, med packs and other materials around the map would randomly just appear, which is alright. Uh, the goats, on the other hand, no. They just run around the house and everywhere else, and they just get really annoying after time to time. Uh, another bad feature on it is flashlights. When you use the flashlight on her and you only get five seconds chance to get away from her, she will catch up to you. And uh, I think that's pretty pathetic. Honestly, but my final verdict for the game it is an actually a good game. It really really is and 
It's a good laugh when you've got friends with you. I wouldn't recommend it if you're on your own. I think nowadays with games like Sign of Silence, Plasmophobia, I, I feel like they're using the same asset style or uh, the same build, if you get what I mean. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not too bad, but I think it's just going to get boring after a while with other games like this. Uh, that comes out. Uh, Sign of Silence had that plasmophobia feel with the engine, and In Silence had the same style. Again, like I said, I, I think developers nowadays are finally finding the fact that co-op horror needs to be a thing, not a 1v4, but uh, a four-player co-op. But another reason why I say or recommend this game is the price count. Remember my last video on Sign of Silence, I said it was a bit overpricing? For a game like that. Now these developers have taken it a lot better. Now their asking price is really reasonable. They're asking about $4.65. That is a good price. That's a really, really good price. With English money, it's £3.39. You can't complain at a good game like that. Their servers are fantastic and there's no lag spike. I've None of my friends encountered lag spike on there. We just had a really good time at it. And I, I would say go and get it if you guys are looking for a four player co-op game. That would be a good one. And uh, yeah, that's it for Devour. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button on the MGN channel. We are getting somewhere and it's going really well. And it's all thanks to you guys. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, it's been quite a good ride so far. And we're just getting started. You take care and have a wonderful day.